Hey guys. I'm sorry I didn't really vlog today that much. I forgot to vlog when I was at the doctor's office. I forgot to vlog when I went and got me something to eat because I've been forgetting to vlog. Um, I've been really upset today. And that's why I've, I've forgotten to vlog all day, probably. Because I was just upset. So I came home and went to sleep. Oh. Oh. I think I'm going to run and get me a sweet tea. Yeah, I wasn't, like, too happy with my doctors and stuff, or the news, you know, just stuff. I don't know. It's not really any news. It's just that I still deal with a lot of pain. Y'all have no idea how much pain I still deal with. Right now, when I just sat down, that hurt. And, um... And I was talking to my primary care doctor about that. Hmm. I wanted to know from him, like, since I had what is called a 360. The 360 is, the 360 is um, them doing the spinal fusion from the front and then in the back. They, they did the front first, and that one was like October 26th or 29th, something like that. I think it was the 29th. And then they went in from the back on October 6th. And I asked the doctor if... Could I still be having discs that are rupturing while I'm fused like that? And he told me yes. I didn't know that. So, I mean, I was already becoming really concerned. Even the last time I went to my doctor, I expressed that concern to them. He said from the test that he did, he didn't see anything wrong. My body tells me otherwise. I just don't feel that I should be still in the amount of pain that I deal with. Um, like when I edit my vlogs, like after about 30 minutes, I would say an hour, an hour at the most, I have to lay down to edit them. I can't sit up anymore. And that's with all kinds of pillows propped up behind me. It's almost just as bad as it was before I had the surgeries. So yeah, I was really upset to find out that I could, that kind of stuff could still be happening with my spine because if that's the case, then why did I have two surgeries on my spine? Well, the two on that and then in my neck, cervical spinal fusion is what they call that one. And then when I was 10 and had the rod placed in my spine. but. So it really upset me. We're going to do an MRI. He doesn't want me to go back to my surgeon. That upset me as well because I found this surgeon and he's like in the top. Like the top 10 in Texas of spinal um, surgeons. Oh. 
He wants to refer me to somebody else, but I'm not too down with that. And I'm just gaining weight and gaining weight and gaining weight because, like, for the past two years, I've been on restrictions where I can't do anything. They don't want me to do anything. So, and then the pain medicine that I take it doesn't really work anymore. So he gave me another one, and it was like over seven hundred dollars. I don't get my um, prescription benefits from Medicare because of my disability until the first. So I I have to get in contact with him tomorrow because I have one Norco left. And I'm going to have to have him to go ahead and prescribe enough of that to get me through until the 1st. But he prescribed something else that he feels will help me to relax and to sleep at night. And it's a muscle relaxant. So, <sighs> Guys, I don't want to ever, ever ever let these people go back into my spine again and it is so sad that I have to sit up here and tell y'all that I am so used to being in pain and every once in a while I break down because it's too much and that's what I did today I broke down I took the medication that they prescribed me and I went to sleep now I'm awake. This is, this is not how I wanted my vlog to be. I hate when I have to do these kind of vlogs. I really do. It's my life, right? 